Hello everybody, David here, and I want to talk about something that has been bothering me a little bit today. Not too much, but you just kind of get annoyed with news items like this. Apparently there is a Facebook group that is trying to bring down uh, Black Panther's uh, Rotten Tomato audience score. So basically someone made a group and it already has, from what I heard, over 2,000 signatures or 2,000 likes or whatever, uh, where once you are allowed to vote on the Rotten Tomato meter uh, for the audience score, there's some people already planning on downvoting it, giving it a, like a one or a half star, whatever. And um, I think these people are idiots. Um, I... Look, I, I love Marvel and DC. If you follow me, if you are subscribed to my channel, you already know and you watch my videos, you already know I am a fan of both. You know, I love the MCU, I love the DCEU, or DCFU, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what DC is calling their, their universe, but I love both of them. You know, I love the Arrowverse. You know, I do Flash and Arrow reviews every time new episodes air. Every Saturdays, I do a DC TV ranking, uh, weekly rankings, where I rank all the DC TV shows that I watch throughout the week, which also includes Gotham, not just the CW shows. Gotham, I, I throw in there as well because I enjoy Gotham. But I'm going to call it like it is. This is stupid. And DC fanboys, that the people that are like only DC fans like they they're only they love everything DC and they hate everything Marvel to me I don't get that I don't see the difference between Marvel and DC at the end of the day it's all about people putting on costumes and fighting bad guys that want to rule the world and take over or some shit like that you know at the end of the day if you were to tell my parents which of these characters are Marvel and which of these characters are DC, they might only get lucky on a few of them, but for the most part, they'll get confused. Every time I tell them about Justice League or the Avengers, they're like, which one's that, DC or Marvel? <laughs> so they they don't know. They don't care. They, they just see the same thing. To my parents, it's the same thing. I was even telling this to my cousin today uh, because I was listening to someone else's podcast who was talking about this subject as well. And even he, when I had to explain what they were talking about, even he was like, these people need to get lives. And it's true. People like that, that you have to downgrade a movie because you don't like the way the DC movies have been reviewed. Well, guess what? The DC movies aren't perfect. Neither are the Marvel movies, but at least they have a consistent quality to them that keep in line at least they're like you know i'll admit S suicide squad and justice league were f-ups they they were they were f-ups and i i enjoyed them both i enjoyed justice league a little bit more than suicide squad i had a good time with it i gave it a seven out of ten but even i'll admit it had its problems Suicide Squad, I don't know where the plot was in that movie, but I still enjoyed it. It was a dumb, fun, action popcorn flick. But it doesn't hold a candle to any of the MCU films. Not even to Captain America, The First Avenger, which I think is the weakest of the MCU. I think Suicide Squad was worse than it, but I still enjoyed Suicide Squad to a degree. Like, there's still a part of me that goes back and rewatches it once in a while. Um, I'll probably be watching again as soon as Justice League comes out on Blu-ray. I'm already planning my DC marathon where I'm going to watch all five DCEU movies or DCFU movies. I don't know. Uh, whatever they're called. Um, <laughs> people are going to get annoyed at me if I don't figure out which one I want to call it. I'll call it DCFU. DC Films Universe. That's what th they said they're calling it. So fine. DC Films Universe. Um, i rather call it DC Cinematic Universe. But you guys... You know, get over this. Get over this competition, this Marvel versus DC rivalry. 2,000 people, you know, that's worrisome. There's 2,000 people that agree with this. And it's probably still going to grow a little bit. And this is why people are, you know, people can get superhero fatigue because of this. Because they hear this rivalry. 
And it is annoying to me whenever I have to hear about it because I'm like, guys, stop it. Just put down your computers, go for a walk outside, hug a tree. I don't care what you do. It's it's pathetic and it's it humiliates me as a superhero fan or at least right now the DC side of it because they're being immature babies. That's the way it is. You guys are being childish little babies that are not oh boo hoo. My movie isn't doing as good for critics as Marvel, so I'm going to give it a thumbs down. Really? Ugh. It's just, it's sad. And I wanted to get my frustration out there in the internet because I know people are in the same boat as me that find this pretty pathetic. Uh, that fanboys can act like this. And it's not just DC and Marvel. There's a lot of other, you know, uh, rivalry um, fanboys out there like Star Trek and Star Wars is one. But you don't hear much about them because they are not childish like us, well, except when J.J. Abrams is directing one of their movies, or in this case now, Ryan Johnson. Uh, but <laughs> that that's a topic for another time. Uh, but DC and, and Marvel fanboys are – it's getting toxic to the, to the point where the hate feels like it's growing. And guys, in, in this time where we have – Donald Trump as president of the United States. Uh, we, you know, don't let the hate win. Let let the hate die down. Think about it. What you're fighting about? You're fighting. You're angry because critics are giving the movie a negative review. That's not going to stop the critics. It's not. We need to let DC and Warner Brothers know. We want good quality films. We don't want trash we want good quality films like what marvel's doing that's the truth and it's hard to rip that out like a band-aid and admit that but i can admit it when dc is fumbling now i i'll defend man of steel at all costs i'll defend wonder woman thankfully wonder woman is the one that doesn't get trash talked a lot um but if i do see people trash talking it i will defend it because it is one of the best DCEU movies. And it's one of the best DC movies in general. But give credit where it's due. It's a movie that critics enjoyed. So it did good. Even if you didn't love it. It's a better quality film than most of the DCEU movies that we've gotten so far. And Batman v Superman. I think that's an underrated film. I actually, the more I watch Batman v Superman, the more I'm like, I still don't get why people hate this movie. I liked it when I first saw it in theaters. I still like it now. Both cuts, the the extended cut and the theatrical cut. I'm the person that can't see anything wrong with the theatrical cut. Sorry. And Justice League and Suicide Squad, I put my thoughts on there. Um, Justice League, a little bit better, but not by much. Um, they're good movies. They're fun movies. That's all that counts. But we need to do better. And we need to let the studios know that we want better products. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys like and comment below. Share your thoughts as well on this subject. And uh, subscribe to my channel, especially if you are new here and you love DC and Marvel. No fighting, guys. Let's, let's stop. Put an end to this hatred. Let it die because when you watch these superheroes, yeah, they bump heads once in a while. But what do they also do? They work together to fight evil. And that's, what's, that's what people should take from this. It's not about hating each other. It's about supporting and working together. And, I mean, learn something from these heroes that you're watching. Heroes don't fight other heroes. Heroes team up and work together and... I know that sounds cheesy. Now I'm trying to make it sound like... But it's true. I mean, we should all look at that. We all like something in common, whether it's Marvel or DC. At the end of the day, they all fight for the same goal. So let's keep that in mind. And until next time, take care.